Our new approach destroys all classes of PFAS and enables the recovery of their fluid content for its reuse in fluorochemical production. PFAS are poly and perfluoroalkylated substances that have been manufactured in really large quantities since the 1940s for application in industry but also for the production of consumer goods. They are composed of multiple carbon fluid bonds that give them their very unique properties but also their resistance to chemical and biological degradation. Now PFAS have contaminated the environment, including drinking water, and this is really an issue because we have evidence that PFAS can have really a negative effect on human health upon chronic exposure. So as a result, many groups around the world have developed really innovative technology for PFAS detection, but also for PFAS removal and destruction. And that has led to a new way to think about PFAS waste management. In Oxford, we have taken a slightly different approach. We have developed a technology that does not only destroy all classes of PFAS, but also enable the recovery of their fluid content for re-entry in the fluochemical industry. The technology consists of treating PFAS with a phosphate salt in the solid state, applying mechanical energy. An observation from an earlier study where we focused on the synthesis of fluochemicals directly from calcium fluoride served as a starting point for this investigation. We noticed that bone milling calcium fluoride with a phosphate salt in chars sealed with Teflon rings gave higher fluid release than when using rubber seals. This suggested that fluid was leaching from Teflon. Now, after extensive development, we have a new technology that enables the destruction of all classes of PFAS and the recovery of the fluid content. The fluid salts formed from this method can be recovered as common reagents for fluorination chemistry. So what does that mean? It means that we can take this PTFE Teflon waste and use this waste material as a fluid source to prepare critical fluorochemical such as Lipitor, for example, or key components of lithium-ion batteries. This is really timely because fluospar, which is currently used for the production of all fluorochemicals, is categorized as a critical mineral in many countries, inclusive of the European Union, the United States, and more recently, Canada and Australia. Today, PFAS are not only destructible, but they also contribute positively to a circular fluid economy.